everybody. It is Saturday afternoon now. Um, two days in a row here. We've actually got stuff for you. You'll see Fridays coming up right after this. Finally had a week of just like nothing coming in, it seemed like. And so finally uh, had some on Friday, had some today. So you'll see those Friday ones coming up after this. I'm um, unfortunately going to start with some bad news. And that was my attempt to Pat Jarvis a couple months ago has been RTS. So, uh, yeah, we'll hope we can find a different address for him and retry that one. It's one that I need for my 72 set, so I'd really like to be able to get him. But we have some good news here, and this is that a very old one has come back. I mean, this one, it has my old uh, address labels on it that I used before I got my rubber stamps, you can see right there. So uh, this one's been out a while, that means. It's postmarked from Indianapolis. Looking through, um, I think this is going to be basketball player Derek McKee, but I'm not even really sure about that because uh, I wrote it down. And anybody that any that were sent that would have gone through the uh, Indy uh, Postal Center there, that's only like 15 ever, 14 since I moved down here, and only two of which have not been returned, and only one of which would have the uh, sticker on here. So, unless somebody you know moved to Indiana in that time, then this is probably going to be Derek McKee. But let's find out and see. And no, wow, this one is John Kidd, former punter for the Chargers. This one, yeah, I mailed back, mailed out a while ago. He was in Michigan, I think, at the time, but I don't even remember what cards I mailed. This definitely was not the card I mailed because I've never seen this one before in my life, but I got one back at least from him. So uh, there you go, sign it kind of sideways on this 1990 Tops Traded. Yeah, wow, glad to see that one again. Um, I think, God, I'm trying to remember, I don't even remember what ones I would have sent, but uh, yeah. Hey, I got this one back at least, so I'm very glad to see that one. That probably took, what, two, three years, maybe longer than that? I really don't know, but uh, yeah, there you go. So the uh, summer of really long returns continues on into November here as uh, that one came back. So yeah, really great to get that one back. I will try Pat Jarvis again. And right now, let's go on to Friday. Hello, everybody. It's been a while since so I've had anything to post. Had a... Uh, very, 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 very slow uh, week at the mailbox. But unfortunately uh, today, got three things here. A big packet right here that is going to be all Canadian stamps. Still waiting on one more shipment of them, but uh, these ones I actually purchased on eBay. So uh, what I figured out, because uh, I need $1.30 stamps to be able to send stuff back from Canada to the U.S. It has to be $1.30 Canadian stamps. They won't take U.S. stamps. That's not how it works. So, uh, um... I ordered some up through Canada Post, like, a month and a half ago, almost two full months ago. And, like, after a month they hadn't gotten here, and I'm like, dude, what's up? This should not have taken this long. I had a friend who got his in five days, so, uh, I'm like, okay, um, this isn't cool. So I contacted Canada Post, and, uh, they looked into it, and they said, oh, yeah, we uh, actually got them uh, returned to sender on you, so, uh, we're going to refund you that, and, uh, yeah. So there I sit with, you know, no stamps, and had to wait for my almost $40 to come back. Well, fortunately I sent it back, but I got to thinking, I looked through and I'm like, okay, well, hold on a second here. I have some 22 cent Canadian stamps I bought a while back to uh, work as some filler stuff on some smaller denomination stamps. So I figured, okay, well, what do I need to do if I just get regular, you know, Canadian P-rate stamps? I think it was like $1.07 or something like that. So I've got those 22 cent ones. All I need is like some one cent, two cent, you know, some kind of cheapos like that. And so I found this uh, sheet of four cent stamps. I'm like, you know what? Good enough. I'll take that. At least, you know, it gives a little bit of extra in case there's a postage rate increase. So there we go. I think that's, yep, there's everything in there. So there we go. Got my sheet of four cent Canadian stamps here finally. So hopefully we're going to have a whole bunch of Canadian ones to send out here soon. I also ordered up some P-rate ones from Herrick Stamps out in, I think they're in New York. But that's where I go through to get all my international postage. So uh, hopefully those will be coming in uh, tomorrow or next week at some point. We'll start rocking some Canadian ones. So, got those in, and we've got two successes here to cover. Um, I looked them up, and I think I know who they are. First one, the initials are TB. It's uh, not postmarked, but uh, I think this one is going to be Tom Bergmeier, former pitcher for a few teams. Let's see if that's who we've got here, and that is indeed who we have here. So, uh, let's see here. Show off these two. Got the uh, 78 and 79 with the Twins and the Red Sox there. So... There you go. Happy to get those ones back. Took about a month or so, I think. Maybe a little over a month. Not too bad, though. Second one we've got here, South Jersey, New Jersey, with the initials of KJ. And I think this is going to be a hockey one here. I think this is going to be former Flyer and Av Keith Jones. Current broadcaster as well. 
And yeah, that is who we've got here. Show off. Oh, former Capital as well. I forgot that he was with them. So we're going to show off these two. And there you go. So I was like the uh, was that the rent collection ones right here. I got that uh, kind of sort of foily coating to it. I don't know exactly what to call them there. But yeah, got those back. So we've got Keith Jones. We've got Tom Bergmeier. Very good day here at the box. Getting back into things. Um, mailed off about 30 or so requests over the last week to week and a half. So Hopefully, Gibi uh, will be getting back on the bandwagon here again. A lot of football in there, some baseball. I think there might have been a couple hockey. I don't really remember now, but yeah, sent out a whole ton. Hopefully, those will be coming back. We're going to be sending out a lot more football. Like I said, some hockey ones to Canada. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe button, hit it down there if you haven't done that just yet. And of course, go and check out sportscardforum.com. A lot of good info on there. We'll see you around.